Mathematics to me is exciting and, and you can use it in so many ways and there's so many stories. For example, in the class I'm teaching now, I had one student come to me the other day and say, I've always liked math, but you bring in a different component. You bring the history or, or you'll take a particular result and you'll say how it developed and things. And that really even makes it more exciting. And in many ways, this car is an extension of me. There's things in my life, and if I had to say the three things, it's family, cars, and mathematics. So I try to put all of them together in this car. There's a lot of math here. Family's been very much involved. My wife loves this car. He really puts himself out there, and he's not your typical math professor, or he's not your typical uh, professor or anyone who just puts himself and does a job. He puts his heart and soul into things. Dr. Tapia has had great success in academia and also in have, you know, helping a generation of underrepresented minorities. Richard is, a, is an example, maybe a perfect example, of someone who came from a poor background. His parents had immigrated from Mexico. He believed in the American dream. He believed it really would be possible to do anything. And in his case, he overcame obstacle after obstacle uh, to become a renowned mathematician and educator. I wasn't going to be a professor. I was going to go in industry. And David Sanchez, one of my teachers, said, you should teach. And I said, why? I don't think I would enjoy it. And he said, no, try it. So I did. And it has been wonderful. I mean, it's been working with students. I, I have email messages from people that I taught 30 years ago telling me that I made a difference in their life. The one in red ink is, is yours. I don't want people to look at me and say, oh, he's a university professor, and he shows it. I want them to say, I didn't know he was a university professor. I didn't know that he did this. I didn't know that he did that. I just thought that he built cars for a living. That makes me feel good, accepted, and I can communicate with, um, with the world. I met Richard uh, when he first came to campus uh, in, I think, around 1970, and I'd been here only four or five years at that time. And it was clear to me that this was a remarkable young mathematician. I guess passion is probably the word that described Richard even in his young days, and he's gotten no less passionate through the years that I've known him. I've lived a life, and as I take the paths, I've learned a lot. I've really learned a lot. and. I say, okay, maybe I made some mistakes, maybe I didn't, but I have a lot to share. So, as I see students who are similarly situated at the time that I was in high school or other places, I want to share with them. I want to share with them all the things that I've learned, how to help them, and how to, 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 to guide them. One of my messages, if you don't achieve everything you dream about, it's still a wonderful life. It still could be a good life. Professor Richard Tapia has helped countably, infinitely many students. Meaning, he, you can't put a number on it because you don't know really who else he's reached by the transitive property. Uh, he continues to help people, so I think that number will, will, will continue to grow. My mother gave me a feeling of a confidence and that you could. She didn't tell me how, I didn't know where, but she said, believe in yourself and education and you can accomplish whatever you want. At that time, I thought she was silly. I said, Mom, come on. But now I see that she was right. So I said, I have to communicate to these students. I can, I can look at minority students and I can see how confident they are or, you know, I mean, sometimes I'll, I'll ask a minority student, somebody has told me, oh, you should check with minority student A. And I say, why? Well, they just failed some big exam. So I'll go to the student and I'll say, I want to talk to you. How are you doing? And the student said, oh, I'm wonderful. Everything's great. And I said, yeah, but you failed that exam. Oh, you know about that? Yeah, I do. So let's talk about it. OK. By the time a minority student asks for help, it's too late. It's too late. Growing up, uh, there weren't a lot of 
uh, Hispanic or minority mathematicians or scientists in general where I was growing up. So I always knew that I wanted to pursue physics. I uh, knew that I wanted to go to graduate school, but didn't have a role model, an example that, you know, showed me that it was possible and to reach it at a high level. I really never dreamed of winning the National Medal of Science. I knew it was there. I knew it was prestigious. I knew it was everything that, you know, you could, you could probably want. So when I was awarded that medal, I was just shocked. And now it is my privilege to present the National Medals of Science and the National Medals of Technology and Innovation. It wasn't a dream come true. It was much more of a surprise, a shock come true. But it meant so much. It, was, it just fulfilled everything. The 2010 National Medal of Science to Richard A. Tapia, Rice University, for his pioneering and fundamental contributions in optimization theory and numerical analysis, and for his dedication and sustained efforts in fostering diversity and excellence in mathematics and science education. And so I just sit back and I reflect and I say, wow. That actually happened. I really won that award. This is wonderful. I appreciate it. I, I, I want people to enjoy it with me. I want to share it. I want Rice to share it. I want the students to share it. I want the faculty to share it. I want to make the world a better place with this award. So I'm very honored and very, very happy. But it isn't something I expected. Maybe one of the saddest things is my mother and father were never able to, I mean, they died before they knew, before I won this award. But I know my mother, she would have said, Richard, I told you, I told you you could do something like that. And she did.